Hey there, today I want to show you how to change a fuse on a um, Siemens 240 fuse box like this. Um, so I actually have the power on right now going to it, but it seems one of my fuses blew. So I'm going to turn the power off and I've got a pin in here to keep it from opening. You may have a lock if this is public. I'm going to push this little tab down and I'm going to open it up. Now, like I said, the power is flowing, but I like to start that way um, because I want to test and get a confirm positive that it's on. So I turn to the little V squiggle on my um, multimeter for alternating current. And I'm gonna use one of my probes to put on the neutral and the other probe to put on the power in. I can see I'm getting a 120 reading there. I'm gonna go ahead and do it to the other. And the reason I'm doing this is to make sure I'm reading it right. Um, sometimes you may read it wrong. And if you start with the power off, how do you know it was ever correct? So now I'm gonna go to the box and I'm gonna go turn the power off real quick. Okay, now I turn the power off from the box and we're gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna put the one probe on my, uh, my ground and the other on my terminal. And you can see I'm getting 0.3. That's just a small induced current. Um, that level of current is basically just zero. So we know it's off now and we're confident in that because we saw it when it was on. Um, so now I want to check my fuses. I'm not sure which of the two of these blue. So once again on the multimeter, I'm going to go up to this one. Kind of looks like a siren with some waves. And then on my multimeter, I need to hit function. And what this does is this is um, continuity. So when I click them together, you can hear that noise. And so if the fuse blue, it won't make that noise. So I'm going to tap the bottom and the top and we can hear that one's good. This one's not making a noise, so this one's bad. So um, I'm just gonna grab a screwdriver here and I'm gonna pop this guy out. And I've got a new one I'm gonna pop in. Um, just for uh, a sanity check, I'm gonna touch the top and the bottom and we've got our connectivity. So now I just need to go turn the power on and close it back up. Okay, so the power is back on. We can check that if we want by going back to alternating current. Um, get my terminals. Okay, 120 and 120. So we can't test this at the fuses because this switch is off and it's best practice to not have the switch on when the box is open. But because we check the connectivity or the continuity of those, we can be confident that when we turn this off, on that it's gonna work.